Hey guys, welcome to this commentary. I'm using Asterix as my avatar. But yeah, um, as some of you may know, I am really good friends with Araman43. And you're wondering, why are you doing a commentary on him when you're friends with him? And the reason is, I am, but it's not going to be a mean one. Well, basically because I don't want to upset him and I don't want to take criticism at his videos. But So this one will be a non-mean one. And I'll just point out what happens in the video, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, this is Arrow Man 43. Yep, that's what he looks like in real life. And yeah, he's actually a really nice guy. He's 20 years old and he has the IQ of me. Yes, he's like me most of the time, which I'm impressed with. Because... You can tell that you're friends with someone who basically is similar to you. So yeah, enough of my rambling. Let's get to the video I'm going to commentate on. It's known as How to Make a Homemade Frappy. The thumbnail looks weird with Aaron's scary Totoro-like smile, but that's just my own opinion. Because ever since I watched my neighbour Totoro, I find smiles very scary. Yeah, I'm smiling at the moment, so why am I even... <laughs> Just ignore what I said. Alright then, let's get on to the video. Looks like we're off to a good start here. With blue screen and some Mario music. What could possibly go wrong? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a latte frappe. Mmm, they sound tasty. In my opinion they don't because I don't even like coffee. Continue on. Or anything like that. So guys, let's get started. So first what we need to do is we want to need a whisker or a wand or whatever you want to call it. An ice cube, an ice cube tray. Nest Cafe Classic. A glass, a glass cup, and two lots of straws. Okay then. In fact, I'm going to go into the kitchen right now. There we are, I'm in there. And let's see if Aaron's tutorial gives us good advice or not. Here we go, i got everything. And plus, I don't have Nescafe Classic, so I'm just using Cat Columbre. And I do have ice cubes, but... I don't want to let them melt. Okay then, show me what I have to do first. First, you'll need to put two teaspoons of Nescafe Classic. You are not allowed to put the original coffee granules for the frappe, otherwise it will taste yucky and horrible. Once you've done, just add a little bit of cold water inside the glass. What, did Aaron just say that I need a teaspoon and some water as well? Okay then. Oh, do I have to do this tutorial? In this cup because I don't have a whisk. Okay, I think that looks good. And then... I think that's enough. You'll want to put some ice cubes inside the cup to make it nice and cold. You might want to bash on the bash it on the kitchen worktop to get it to get it out of the slot. Make sure you add plenty of water inside the slot and put it in the freezer to turn the water into ice. Now you are ready to set the wand up and whisk up the cup to make it nice and frothy. Make sure you have plenty of cream for you to enjoy. When you've done, you'll want to top it up with some more cold water. Make sure you add plenty of milk to make it stand out. Add
I think I caused an absolute mess of myself. Yes, I have caused an absolute mess. Let's try this thing. Make sure you only put three teaspoons of sugar, otherwise your teeth will get rotten. You don't want to be any dog with some fillings at the dentist. Well, that's actually true, Aram. Unlike what I did, because I love sugar so much. Grab two straws and make sure you stir it very carefully, or else you will be ended up spilling on the worktop. Now, for a bonus. So if you want to make it more nicer than McDonald's, you can put some whipped cream on top and add, some, and add the sauce of your choice. I'll put some maple syrup on top of the cream. So there you have it, that's how you make the frappe. If you want some extras, you can add squirt cream and things like that. Yeah. Now I'm gonna sit back and relax and enjoy this frappe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now. Wow, that's... Erin just stared at you. That's scary. Ugh. Gave me a bit of a... That was a bit creepy. Oh well. Would you like to see how I taste this homemade frappe that was an absolute disaster? Here I go. <coughs> Let's try again. <coughs> that was terrible. <coughs> no wonder why I don't even like coffee. <coughs> now I've got to wash away the nasty coffee. Ew. Anyway, that's the end of the commentary. That is, this is Harry signing out before I puke somewhere. <laughs>